Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and today I'm going to cover Magento free of charge orders. Basically, orders that the back end admin, the customer service, the business, whoever has access to the back end sales, they can go and create an order for a customer with no money needed, a free of charge order. Uh, so, when would you actually want to have free of charge orders? Uh, the most popular example would be maybe you're managing your RMA, your returns, and someone asks for a replacement and you want to track that that product and that order and you want to send notification email. So you would create an order free of charge order because you're just replacing it. You would throw in the customer, you'd throw in the product you want to ship, and then there would be a full flow of an order which you take on the warehouse, take your SKU, you ship it, you have a tracking number and you can track it and then you can have all your data in one place. Uh, other than that, there might be some customer service or other reasons you might want to give an order that is zero dollars, okay? Um, and another reason could be uh, also that you have a coupon that's, for example, 100% off, and then you can give that. So let's show you what it is, how you do this in the back end. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So the first thing you need to do before you actually create an order is go to stores configuration and make sure you allow to have free of charge orders. That's the first step. It's very simple. So what are you going to do? You're going to go here to sales and you're going to go to your payment methods and you're going to make sure that you enable the free of charge orders. Uh, right here. So let's scroll scroll down right here and we have a zero subtotal checkout. Do we allow this? Make sure it's on yes, right? If not, you can click here and make it yes. Um, once the free of charge order happens, you are going to select the actual status you want it to happen. So when an order gets created by default Magento, if it's not paid for, usually it's pending. Uh, if it's paid for and there's an invoice, it's processing, but you can select based on your flow itself. Okay. In many cases on default ones, you're going to want a processing, but depends. And then you're going to select all these other settings. For example, the countries that you allow to have free of charge orders, etc. Once you've enabled it, now you can actually go and start your process. So what would you do? Let's say customer service, for example, uh, gets a replacement uh, requirement. They want to create a free of charge order. So what they would do is go to sales and click on orders and then they're gonna create a new order in the back end, right? So when you create the new order, I'll show you what's going on. So I'm gonna click here on create new order, and I'm gonna follow the basic step of creating an order in the back end, right? Very, very simple thing. So first step you have to do is select uh, the actual customer, right? So let's, let's select the customer. Let's say this is the customer, okay? Perfect. And I'm going to select my store. It, you know, obviously this is a test site with sample stores, but I'm just going to select my store. Actually, one second, let me go back. I want to select a different store. Let's go again. And I'm going to create, okay, I'm going to create a new order. Uh, the reason I'm going back is I actually had a customer that was in a diff. So I'm going to go here to the Taiwan site, for example, and I'm going to create an order for Taiwan site. Okay, so let's go right here. Okay, so now I selected my customer. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a back end order. I'm going to select my product first. What product do I want to give for free? So let's say I have this product right here. I'm going to check it and select one quantity. And I'm going to click here on add selected product to order. Now it's going to input this in the row itself. And the key part of the free of charge order is to use the custom price right here and I'm going to change the order to zero, right? And I'm going to update the items. When I did that, now I have zero dollars. So my whole product subtotal is zero dollars. Now I'm going to proceed to do all the information for the shipping and billing. And I already have something auto filled, so it's okay. And no payment is required, which obviously it's zero dollars. I'm going to click on get shipping methods. And if you, and then I'm going to select the free one. Now, if you do not have a free shipping method, you won't have a free of charge order. You might have subtotal zero because the products are zero, but you'll, you'll have a shipping handling fee, whatever the money is. So you'd have to actually make in the store configuration a free of charge order or free of charge order if the subtotal is zero, either, you know, cart rule or the free shipping module. So make sure you have this as well. Once you do that, now let's click on submit. And if we did this correctly, now we have an order that is $0 and it can start to be processing, right? So now the order status is processing, even though there's no payment that came through. And now I can just process the order like I do normal order. It's in my order list. 
everything is normal and I can go ahead and I can ship it and I can complete the order. That's basically, it's really, really simple. Um, if you guys have any questions about any customization, any specific flows of this kind of free of charge order, let me know. Um, that's it. Hope you guys joined the, enjoyed the video. Subscribe. We're making more and more Magento, Shopify, e-commerce, web, Google Analytics, marketing, and anything web that we know. We're making videos to try to educate, to help people um, grow in e-commerce. Uh, ask questions, subscribe. I appreciate it, guys.